Hey, what's going on, everybody? Pika Forge here, and uh, welcome back to the NASCAR Pit Lane Podcast, episode number five, as we're going to discuss the Irwin Tools night race at Bristol Motor Speedway, and I'm telling you, that was a pretty, that's a pretty, was a, uh, that was a very good race, actually, because, uh, um, God, I'm telling you, there was a whole lot of drama going on at the end of the race, I'm telling you. Going towards the end of the race, it was all about the sky, Matt Benedetto. Um, God, it just got to feel so bad for Matt Benedetto, actually, but... That, that's basically one of the headlines of the week is Matt Benedetto. He was leading at Bristol with, oh, I'm trying to remember, 100, he was leading at lap number, I was trying to remember, I think it was 492, I believe, is when. Matt Benedetto took, or 392. God, you gotta feel, God, you have got to be, when you come so close to your first win in the Monster Energy Cup Series, it's, it's disappointing. Honestly, you led over 93 laps. You took the lead at two, lap 492, or 396, excuse me. You'll lead 93 laps, and then you get stuck behind that one lap car. That was on the longest room flag run. 113 laps was the distance that Matt Benedetto had. And oh my god, God, you just gotta feel horrible for him. You have got to feel absolutely horrible. But I'm telling you. This is Matt DiBenedetto loses the leads. It was all because of Ryan Newman getting in his way on lap number two, three ninety nine. Four ninety nine. I'm telling you, soon as Matt DiBenedetto got into, got blocked by Ryan Newman. I mean, Ryan Newman. He shouldn't have been racing Matt DiBenedetto. That or I know he was trying to stay on the lead lap, hoping for a caution flag, but that just that that's not characteristic at all. Unfortunately, um, I I'm gonna say that very true. I actually have. A whole lot of respect for Matt Benedetto. Unfortunately, it didn't go his way with seven, eight laps to go. He got overtaken it with 12 laps to go by Denny Hamlin. And, uh, oh, God. And, yeah. I'm going to say that, that was heartbreaking. Um... There was another thing I was talk, meant to talk about. That that was the tire pressures, or the or the racing tires that NASCAR was using at Bristol Motor Speedway, because what he used what NASCAR tires they used at Bristol Motor Speedway. That because first Logano had problems. Logano had the problem first with the tire down. Um, Austin Dillon had a problem with the tire. Kevin Harvick had a clutch at you. There was another guy who had a tire. That was Eric Damarola. I, I'm telling you, there was lots of lap traffic getting in the way of these guys. Of uh, the actual racing guys like Kevin or Austin Dillon, excuse me, David Reagan. Austin Dillon, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., 
Eric Jones, William Byron, who is having problems. I forgot to say, even Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch was being holded up by Jimmy Johnson at lap number 13. He started 31st, and, well, he brain bounded to come back and finish fourth, but that, he only led 30 laps of the race, and that killed his momentum. I'm trying to get a higher spot than Eddie Hamlin, because he was actually having the lead, and then Jones and Bush, Bush didn't get a good restart, and that's what happens. When you spin the tires, that's going to cost you the race wins, so... Um, I think there was, a, if you guys actually didn't see the retweet, I posted on, tw on Twitter, but Matty Z, I knew Ryan Newman was hard for you to get past, but I Dead around, oh, probably. There was about 71 laps to go to go get to go get Matt Benedetto his first win. He said to keep the guys behind you from winning, and he said it was pretty hard. We know he's still looking for a full-time ride in 2019. But Denny Hamlin is his hero. And, and, he, and he can hear his... Um, I can hear his emotions. As soon as I saw Matt Tabetadero, he was... He was emotional. He was so close to the win. It came 12 laps short because of that stupid six car getting in his way. But, well, what are you going to do? It's Ryan Newman. He was, I mean, I get it. He's a complete jerk sometimes getting into other drivers' ways when he shouldn't be. And surprisingly, Matt DiBenedetto does, doesn't deserve to be slowed down by a lap, a car like that getting in his way. Yeah, he just doesn't know, know but honestly, me being a Matt Benedetto, a fan of Matt Benedetto and Kyle Busch, the biggest guy, obviously, for me is Matt Benedetto because I am a big fan of Matt and Levine for that car. So, I mean, hopefully he finds a full-time ride in 2020, hopefully, so he can go out there. Hopefully he can go to Joe Gibbs Racing in 2021 sometime in the future, but that'd be awesome to see Matt Get a Joe Gibbs ride for 2021, and who knows? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not going to happen. But he is looking for a ride. He hasn't found a ride yet. He is leaving the Vine family racing, but he's looking for a ride. They got well, obviously Joe Gibbs Racing, where there's still space open. I say the six the six car would be a good spot for Matt Benedetto. It could be a good spot for him to go to the forty one. He could go to there. He could go the fourteen car, driven by Clint Boyer. But he's had a shit of, of terrible luck this season. So, and I and I could say that one car could be taken by Matt Benedetto as well. But who knows? Kurt Busch could be. A big factor. Kurt Busch could be a factor going into 2020. We have Kurt Busch, who doesn't have a ride for next year. We have Eric Jones, who doesn't have a ride. Ryan Newman, obviously, he needs to get, get fucked, of course, from that re result. We have Boyer, he's looking for a ride. He could go to a back runner team. And 
I'd say that that 14 car or the thir the 41 car, I think the 14 car should be Matt Benedetto because he deserves a top seat car. And that, what are you gonna do? But yeah, I hope you guys are gonna hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh. Hopefully, I can get some more of these podcast episodes out, and uh, hopefully, starting next Monday, we can start releasing. Starting this month, Tuesday, hopefully, we can get some podcast episodes released every Tuesday after the real life race comes out. This one came out a little bit later than I wanted it to, but I wanted this to be re released on Sunday, but that didn't happen. So, it's going to start being released on a Tuesday. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.